Hey, what's up, Pairs? Welcome to a different kind of a video. So something recently came to my attention and it's a new movie that has, well, that's about an au pair. And it's interesting because whenever there's movies made about, related to childcare, I guess, it's always about a nanny or there's always like a horror movie about a nanny. And I think this is a thriller, if I'm not mistaken, it's called The Au Pair Nightmare. And I'm going to be doing a movie commentary and reaction on it. So fair warning, I'm going to be speaking during the movie. But I'll read the synopsis to you. And it says, Looking to leave her past behind her, a young woman becomes an au pair for a very wealthy and private couple. Suspecting that they're hiding something, she must soon uncover the dark secret if she hopes to make it out of their home alive. So, that sounds very interesting. I hope it is, because on Amazon it's $3. So, I better get my money's worth, because as you know, with an au pair, an au pair stipend, it's, it's tight. So... I better get my money's worth. So let's get into the movie. I got my tea with me. It starts off like it seems like one of those very girly love story kind of movies but I know it's a thriller so I don't know we shall see where how this goes look at the happy couple Ooh, smooth. props to this dude say yes Yes. She sees him as yes. Uh oh. Oh, that's sad, dude. They were only like engaged for like five minutes. Damn, that sucks. And I know it's been six months. That's why I'm moving out. <clears throat> Wait, you are? Yes, but don't laugh. I have an interview with an au pair agency. Wait, you're gonna be a, a live-in nanny? Not many people know exactly when you say au pair, what it actually is, so kudos to this lady. To be continued. Billy, do <laughs> not move. Relatable. Do you really think you're ready to move into an entirely new place with complete strangers? The job is 24-7. You don't punch in at 9 and out at 5. There's yes. no social life yes. here. You cook, you clean. You give yourself over to another family completely. Damn, how nice is that house? Imagine you got to all pair at that house, how cool would that be? The music's a little excessive though, like, it could be a little more subtle. So instead of doing your Skype interview, like we usually do it, she's an in-person interview, and I think that is a lot more scarier and nerve-wracking than having to do it over Skype. Skype's bad, but imagine having to do it in person, meeting them for the first time in person and having to talk this all through, like, whew. Taylor. Mrs. Caleb. Sit. This won't take long. Ooh, I would hate to have her as a host, Mom. There's one word for a person like that. I think you know what it is. John, it's not going to work out with Taylor. What do you mean? She doesn't have any around-the-clock experience. I mean, when it comes to us, majority of the time, I would say like 90% of the time, none of us have been an au pair before. And although au pairing and babysitting are like completely different, but I mean like still like, this lady's a little crazy. Maybe you can come back in a year or two. Ooh. I would hate to have her as a host mom. Are you gonna live with us? <laughs> I wish I could. Could you stay, please? You know what? 
Yes. Because the boogeyman will come and take me away. You shouldn't scare kids like that, lady. Hey, let's go watch some SpongeBob, okay, buddy? Yo, kids a little old for you to be picking him up like that, bro. Kids like 12, not six. Taylor, I'll get your things, take them to your room, give you two a minute. Thanks. Thanks. Try and stay out of trouble. <laughs> Come on, what's the worst that could happen? It always goes like that. What's the worst that could happen then? Ba ba ba. The worst happens. The house is so nice. Hello? Crikey. Nice it's room, kid. Really neat. Yeah, my host kids' rooms were never that neat and tidy. There's always toys everywhere. Always me picking them up. I hate those dolls. They are the creepiest things in, in a lot of horror movies. There's those creepy dolls, those porcelain dolls and no, thank you. First thing. No, that door there, that's Alessandra's office. I'd stay clear if I were you. I want to know what's behind that door. And this is important. Every night, we lock Emily's door from the outside so she stays put. She sleepwalks. It's a good reason to have to lock the door, but I think there's something else brewing here. Is that her bedroom? Oh, it was torn. That's creepy. And we're back to the dolls. Nap time. Isn't that a ring? Oh, come turn? on. We have the entire summer to play. Besides, I need to start dinner. She looks very old to be having naps. I wish Maho's kids took naps. They were always awake. Chapters. Aw, that's, that's nice. Mm. It's not a shot, bro. Ooh, I'd feel so awkward if I was that awkward. I'll take the bottle and go back to my room. Join us. What? Ooh. Wake up, lady. She's in your room. Oh, that's so creepy, dude. Imagine that was your, your one of your host parents, and then like you roll up and you just see this face there. Should something happen between the two of you? What? I want you to know. I'm fine with it. We are very secure. Ooh, this family is dodgy. Dude, there's a camera in her room. Ooh. That's not allowed. Scoop's coming up. Rocky, bro. That was fast. Cookie. Ice cream never comes that quickly, bro. No ways. See, look. She's so weird. And of course, she's gone. Hey. Classic movie thing. Where's your Google? What is this global search nonsense? What? Obviously, she's gonna say bingo. Bingo. See, I knew it. Oh, but so they can show like the Apple stuff, but they can't show Google. Like that makes sense. Does that really happen? Why could she had a case on though? Because that would have been expensive to fix. I couldn't stop thinking about you. Ooh, get your flirt Don't on, boy. Right? Please call me John. He's gonna kiss her. We have an agreement. We've both had our indiscretions. Hey. And there we go. I know how hard it is. By yourself, out here, cut off from the world. And I'm pretty sure this actually like does kind of happen, like when it comes to like au pairs and especially because it's majority girls and then the host dad. But I'm pretty sure that this like kind of stuff does happen. Probably not that often, but I mean like you never know. Oh, I know that game. Oh, we used to play that game. My brother and I, when we were kids, we used to play that game. It was called something with mice, Ma mouse, Ma mouse trap. That's what it was called. Ooh. 
see I told you. Oh my god. This is the trap. Like they were playing mouse trap. Oh that's um, that makes sense now. But this was the trap. Is a good little host kid, well then. Dude, there's no that throw was so fake. She's dead. Uh rematch. <laughs> And the father is. You are not the father. <laughs> I'll tell you no more lies. Well, that's a weird turn of events. What the hell's going on here? I just need. <laughs> Back to the movie. I will do whatever it takes to Dude. protect my life. Whatever I did not see that coming. Oh, it's on last episode. What happened, mommy? What did you do to daddy? Shame, bro. Well, I mean, firstly, like that kid should be like screaming and crying. Oh, I won't let you. This is like the ultimate au pair horror story. See why it's so important to escape at least like two, three times with your potential host family, like, so you can avoid situations like this. You should know by now. I'm always I'm right. Always right. See, was, it's like I read the <laughs> script, bro. When I'm putting my foot down, your repair days are over, going back to school. I couldn't agree with you more. You got this, right guys? Totally. Hell yeah. <laughs> Billy language. Uh, that brings like so many memories of when the boys would say like bad words and be like, Just Rex, don't say that. Are oh, she all dressed up to go to school? That's odd. Oh, well, that's a shit ending. My take on the movie. I mean, yeah, it's pretty much worth three dollars, <laughs> but I know there's a lot of drinking right at the end. I did not expect that coming, but you could kind of see along the way, like different things falling into place. It's a pretty average movie. It would definitely be high up on the list of worst families to get. Um, there were a lot of red flags with this family. The title is befitting of the au pair nightmare. It's very interesting. I hope that. None of you ever get a family like this or none of your host families are like this. But thank you for watching this commentary, this movie commentary. I hope you liked the video. If you liked it, hit the like button. Consider subscribing if you aren't already. And comment down something below if you're going to go ahead and watch this movie. I'll leave the link in the description. But let me know if you're going to go watch this movie and what did you think of my take on this movie. But anyways, I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.